Hey, and welcome everybody. It's Matt with Converted Carts, and welcome to Golf Cart TV. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Today, we are going back to the build that I am actually working on, me and my son, and we're going to catch up with what's going on. If you didn't see that first episode, make sure you go back to watch that. I will click a link or uh, add a link here into the description. But make sure you watch that because that goes from the very beginning to where we are now. And then today I'm going to start with kind of where we are now and then going through what we've done so far. And then I'll have one more video that will finish up the series that uh, completes this whole build, which has been a blast, a whole learning experience. It's been uh, definitely something new. I sell this stuff and mostly online. And so going through this process has certainly been a learning experience. And I understand where you, the builder, the, the DIYer, the whoever who's putting this stuff together and, and going through the process. One, I feel your pain, but two, I'm also learning from you. So hopefully to be able to answer your questions better. But I'm going to jump in. I've actually got a video that I've recorded and put together. And so I'm going to share that. Uh, and then I'll come back here at the end and kind of wrap things up. But let's jump into that. All right. So we are down to the bones. So for those who didn't see the previous episode, real quick recap. We have a 2018 EasyGo TXT that was right off of a golf course. So it's had five years of wear and tear, but uh, was in pretty good shape. We lifted, uh, you can watch video before, but we lifted it, added new wheels and tires, and have now removed all of the body, floor mats. Uh, we did replace the steering wheel, which I didn't capture last time, but we'll show that at the end. Uh, we've disconnected all of the electric. We have now the uh basically the frame we are down to the frame of the cart so we're starting from there today we're working on the mad jacks storm body kit sorry for the mess but we've got a black storm body kit that we're putting on and we're excited to do that and it's going to go from this to what should be pretty sweet so, there we go. Storm body kit, front cow. I'm gonna talk about this rack or the windshield here in a sec. Tsunami seats in, at least the start of it. I'm gonna record today and then I should have one more where I should be able to finish. But man, look at that. This 
rear end especially I think looks awesome with the storm body. Got a little trunk piece that slides in. I will have a seat that's gonna go, the rear seat's gonna go on here to fit in. I'll include some time-lapse stuff to kind of show what we were doing and how it took. It was, I would say, medium grade as far as difficulty goes. I mentioned I might say something about this. The hardest part, at least for us yesterday, when we were working on this, was these windshields. Um, I don't know if it's when we tightened these screws back onto the body for the struts, this front strut um, rack for the windshield. If that squeezed these in, like inside towards the middle because the, the windshield seemed like it was bigger than um, what it was before. And now we're having a hard time fitting it in. Uh, one thing I think I learned after the fact or thought about after the fact was maybe I should have put the this bracket or brace or whatever you want to call it piece onto the windshield first and then attached it to the frame. But lesson learned, uh, we got to figure that part out. Um, and then like I said, today and kind of future what's happening next is I got to finish the back Put the back seat here but that's going to be connected with this rear facing seat um the the front seat actually connects to the rear seat so that's going to go on there rear seat's going to go in place i've got fender flares that are coming sidestep mad jack sidestep that's going to go on the side fender flares on the front plus the wheels will be pushed out i've got a one inch spacer coming for the front two i've got two inches on here um, and the top, I'm going to put on this, the red dot top sail canvas top that's going to go and it'll extend over the top of the, the rear seat here. So that's coming, um, floor mat, I have a floor mat coming from Deco mats, custom mat that they made for us and we'll be putting that in. And I think that's mostly it. Uh, oh, I've got a little stereo system here. This is just back on the side, but um, just a little Innova Bluetooth kind of a thing that'll fit in between the front seat and rear seat. So we'll install that as well. But it's looking pretty good. Coming along nicely. <laughs> So there you have it. That is uh, the update as we stand, at least as of this recording. So we have done a little bit more work, which I'm excited to share uh, in a future episode. But one thing that didn't uh, I didn't show in the time lapse or didn't cover in the video, uh, just because it was not really exciting to be able to watch, but uh, the all the wiring, the wiring harness, and connecting the lights and the turn signals and the horns and the all the things uh, that was also a learning experience, but the process was really easy. Everything was pretty much plug and play, uh, replacing what was there before and adding a couple of things here and there. Um, but it's got a USB, it's got uh, LED lights and all the things that are supposed to make it street legal and also very cool looking. So thanks again for uh, coming and watching today. Hope you loved it. Please leave some comments. Love to hear what you're having to say. Hopefully you're enjoying what we're doing here at Golf Cart TV. Be sure to check us out at convertedcarts.com if you haven't. Uh, if you're working on your own build or need some help, need some parts, whatever you got going on, we'd love to help out. So have a great day. Thanks again for joining.